First of all, Chris, you're Jewish, right? No. (laughs) (laughs) One of those has jokes on them. Four of them are restraining orders. Well, nah, look, I, in preparation for the roast, I Googled his name. And Google came back, why? <laughs> nah, he, he looks like a shift manager from Waffle House who rules with an iron fist. <laughs> Just like, did I say you could go on break? (laughs) Like I'm pregnant. And it's just like, you better keep that baby inside you. (laughs) Zach, uh... Zach works at the kitchen in the Laugh Factory. Uh, He thinks crowd work is handing out chicken tenders. Uh, He only works blue cheese. Uh, He thinks a tight five is mozzarella sticks. So you drove from Cleveland to say that. (laughs) I drove from Cleveland to leave Cleveland. Nah, you can steal my move, but you don't do it better than I do. Yeah. Here. (laughs) All right, look. Chris is a 28-year-old balding comedian who is based out of Cleveland, Ohio. So really... There's really nothing for me to make fun of him for. <laughs> but he is related to John Benet Ramsey. This is true. He is related to John Benet Ramsey, or as the police call him, suspect number seven. <laughs> We were the same age at the time. (laughs) So you didn't find her hot. (laughs) Oh, man. That's hilarious, one chain. Uh, uh, Zach moved here from Georgia, I assume, in a van. Uh, But his accent got here on the Underground Railroad. Nah, Harriet Tubman would have loved me. (laughs) Be a lot more mixed race people in here. Now, Chris is used to rejection, but not from women, but from tattoo artists who are just like, no, sir, we're not going to tattoo the letters Lincoln Park across your knuckles. (laughs) There's way too many letters. Uh, No! Hold on, check that out. Lincoln Park. 
L I N K I N Park. <laughs> That's great. He didn't Zach? know. He didn't know I was a mathematician, man. <laughs> Wrote that joke to prove he could spell. <laughs> and add. <laughs> Get up. For the front man to a uh, system of a down syndrome. Uh, Zach is uh, Zach is married to another comic. Uh, yeah, they're uh, they're a real white power couple. Uh, they're in an improv troupe together called Yes, and my husband loves to watch. <laughs> Thank you for talking about my wife. <laughs> she is a beautiful woman. I actually uh, drove here from Cleveland for another reason. Here's your wife's debit card. Uh, that in my wallet for some reason. Courtney. <laughs> A comedian from Cleveland? <laughs> You've heard the phrase, Ohio is for lovers? <laughs> God damn. I mean, Dave Chappelle lives in Ohio. You couldn't get him? <laughs> Dave Chappelle lives in Ohio. And he's from Ohio. And he's actually open for Dave Chappelle. He's opened up the door <laughs> to the bathroom and asked him what kind of soap he wanted and gave him a mint. What I'm saying is that Chris is a major D at a strip club. I think it, you know, it tends to work when you have to explain what the joke is. Like, <laughs> uh, 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 this uh, this stoned guy fox mask is uh, from Savannah, Georgia. It's a very progressive part of Georgia where they only hit women if it's a fair fight, <laughs> and they get enthusiastic consent at the family orgy. Don't tempt me to hit a woman. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I already say that Waffle House one yet. <laughs> All right. Tempt him. Tempt him. No, don't tempt me. <laughs> Now, he is from Cleveland, but he adopted his look from that movie, Philadelphia. I'm not that thin. <laughs> you are on the brink of AIDS, though. <laughs> Uh, let's hear it one more time for My Name is Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, Zach looks like if it were up to him, you could totally buy a pack of smokes with your EBT card. Hey, can I read this? Yeah. She doesn't need a mic. Did I say you could go on break? I'm pregnant. <laughs> I think I did say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, you made it better. All right, last joke. <laughs> Y'all give it up for my man. 
who came all the way from Cleveland. What's his name? What's his name? Chris Paul. And Chris Paul, that's not his name. That's just his business card that he gives out where it's like Chris Spa, where he gives out creepy back massages to new female comedians. Damn. Nah. <laughs> Give it up for MGKKK. Uh, <laughs> uh, Zach sounds like Channing Tatum's gambit. Uh, but if the X-Men were a team whose goal were to save the Confederate statues from being torn down. Wow. Well, give it up for whatever that was. Uh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I don't know what it was, but it was interesting. I think that was cool. Let's, let's start it off with a little bit of momentum. Hey, Max, you want to give a joke? What's going on here, buddy? So, you guys did seven jokes, but you stretched it out for so long, it felt like zero. Um, <laughs> yeah. Max, you look up to me, so. <laughs> Zach. Zach, your fly is down, dude. <laughs> no, that was it. Leave the stage. I love them. All right, all right. Oh, these two yappy broads. <laughs> Hurry up, Zach, Max. Yeah, Jesus um, Christ. I think Zach just always spells Lincoln with a K. <laughs> all right, anyway. Um, I got I to gotta give it to Zach for that one. I think he's still probably stronger. Yeah. Okay. Zach gets a vote. Give it up for him. Yes. Next song, K2K, um, what did you think? Well, I mean, I, first I just want to say thank you both for violating your house arrest to be here tonight. I really appreciate that. <laughs> really do, man. I feel like I feel like that roast battle was it like if dial-up internet was a roast battle. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it would be. <laughs> uh, Zach, I never want to see you spell again. <laughs> and Chris, you look at Blink 182 as a person. <laughs> Like, every time you laughed, you were laughing, but your eyes were crying. I don't know how that works. <laughs> but uh, I loved your Underground rail Railroad bit. I loved all of Zach's comebacks. But what really got it for me with Zach was the fact that he's like, you drove all the way from the <laughs> to be here tonight. Uh, so I got to give it to Zach. OK, Zach, he wins the roast battle. He does win the battle. But I do want to call out some Brandon. There we go. All right. Zach, will you show the back of your shirt for me? He wore that shirt to our close friend's wedding. <laughs> so that's his nice shirt. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. You read. For a guy who doesn't know all the lyrics to the Alphabet song, that was pretty good. Um, and Chris, if your girlfriend cheated on you, I think you, uh, you seem like a guy who would understand. Bring <laughs> love <laughs> Yeah, I'm, not, I'm having fun. I'm not drinking. I have few joys in this world. Uh, it probably took Chris a shorter amount of time to drive here than it did Zach to do that first fucking joke. But uh, I will give it to Zach. Yep. Okay. Zach wins it, but one more time for Chris coming out of her clean on the battle. Thank you for doing it. All right, you two. Get the fuck out of here. Man, Chris, Paul, how are you doing, my friend? You did your race, Rose Battle debut. I'll see you out there. Or do you did your Rose Battle debut here for Rose Battle Chicago, but you're fucking running shit out in Cleveland. What was your experience like coming from Cleveland and doing the Rose Battle Chicago out here? Uh, I had a lot of fun. I would have had twice as much fun had the other half of my jokes worked. Uh, but yeah, man, I, it's a whole thing you guys are doing here. Uh, I've got a lot of questions for you later, uh, just on running shit, but yeah, this was such a fun show. Like the premise itself and shit like that. Uh, yeah, we've been doing it for eight or nine years out in Cleveland. Uh, I think our shit tends to be kind of inside. It's like more insular. So we're, we, we're not as good as we think we are. So this is. This is fun to come out and uh, try, you know, bigger place, better crowds. 
Well, that's awesome. I mean, obviously, you've been doing this eight or nine years, roast battle. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Obviously, in Chicago, we've had a lot of like in, more inside baseball roast shows. So being a part of the league officially, right, you're a part of the, you're the Cleveland chapter. What has been the biggest change since the league has formed within the past two years that you've noticed? And how has that affected your show and running it? Uh, I mean, I think that's it. Like a lot of the inside shit doesn't fly anymore because we have normal people coming to shows now. Uh, it's not just for comedy fans anymore or, you know, like comedy nerds. Um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is like people just know what it is now and, uh, and kind of what to expect. They're more excited when they come out. Um, yeah, and just doing it at a higher level. It's like uh, like growing up watching skateboarding in the 80s and shit and 90s, and like it just got more and more complex, and uh, you know the battles are getting more complicated. You know, there's more tags. We're crazy here. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, more more different people doing it. Character people are are characters. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, it's I I like all the. Just the different comics that are like surprisingly good at it too. There's like there's a lot of people you watch bomb doing regular stand up and just fucking kill it at roast battle. For sure, we notice that too here where people are like, you know, they have a real niche here, so it's it's awesome. Um, thank you so much again for doing the show. I want to talk to Brandon and some other people, but it was an honor having you here, and so hopefully many more collaborations between the two leagues. You're the man. Let's get out of. This is a brutal spot to be in. So let's get it.